So again, viewers and viewettes, tonight we have a beer I am so freaking excited about. Just got it today. Lagunitas 2020 One Hitter Series. Born Yesterday Pale Ale. Fresh hops, unfiltered. Now, uh, the packaging doesn't reveal a whole ton. This is Lagunitas. Uh, they are not a whole lot going on in their packaging. Not the most exciting thing about them. Uh, although they do have some clever moments here and there. Um, but let's just read what it says. Imagine yourself in a field of dreams. Brewer's dreams, that is to say, a field of hops. Mosaic and other special varietals curated by the great men and women who ply the lands and trellises of the Yakima Valley in Washington State. In Washington State. Now inhale, now sip, now swallow. Um... So Lagunitas is a California brewery. Uh, we all love Lagunitas. I mean, who doesn't love this brewery? Uh, you might resent the fact that they sold out. They did get bought in large part by Heineken, I believe, or crap, I might have that wrong. Uh, yeah, it was Heineken. Look, I still think Lagunitas is great. I have a serious soft spot for them because I, I think years and years ago, this is probably how I got into... IPAs and pale ales, and in fact, into beer and craft beer. Was their Lagunitas, uh, you know, their IPAs, just, I can't even remember which ones I was drinking. The Lagunitas and Sierra Nevada pale ales and IPAs is how I got into beer, um, personally, I think. That's that's probably it. So the reason I'm excited about this, not only a callback to Lagunitas, which I haven't had in years and years, not because it's not good, but just because I, far from it, in fact, I know it's going to be good. So there's very little excitement for me when I like to try new things, uh, for this kind of stuff. But if I just want a good solid beer, if I'm in the middle of nowhere and I see they have Lagunitas, I'm going to be freaking happy. So happy. Drink a Lagunitas IPA any time of day. They are West Coast, but they're less aggressive than, for example, Stone Brewery, which is like really, really aggressive West Coast IPA. I have always found Lagunitas a lot more balanced, a lot more approachable, a lot more sippable, drinkable. Uh, so they're going all in on the hops for this beer. I'm just pulling up from my computer for reference. Let's see what they're saying. Uh, they've got some pretty crazy uh, copy on their website for this uh, Born Yesterday Pale Ale. It's pretty insane, actually. I don't know what else to say. You can read it. It's a short tale of a, of a, a hop in a female form that sounds like... I, I don't even know. You... I, I don't even, literally don't even know what to say. Now, it says, Born Yesterday is a newborn version. Newborn version of our rebound, Reborn Pale. A new Dogtown Pale with a fresh addition. We added some wet, lupulin-drenched, unkilned, so uh, fresh whole cone, fresh picked, and rushed straight from Yakima. So again, Yakima is where the, the valley uh, nearby, geographically, not far, where these fresh hops come rushed to be used for brewing. Fresh. Straight from Yakima Hops for your, your immaculate reception. This unfreaking filtered wetter than wet beer has 11 pounds per barrel of Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, and Sabro hops. Well, I love Citra, I love Mosaic, I love Sabro. Don't really know what Simcoe tastes like. I've had it plenty of times, I just don't know if I can't quite remember. Uh, ABV 7.2%, IBU 60. I'm expecting a bitter, delicious, fresh beer. I don't know if I'd call this juicy. That I'm expecting, but just fresh and bursting with pop. Let's get it open. We've got the classic dog face on the cap of Lagunitas. Let's try it out. It's nice and cold. Uh, and uh, picked it up today from... Oh, you know what? One last thing. Picked it up today from Witchcraft... Uh, in Austin. Just looking for a date. Oh, there we go. Borned? I think it says born. 10, 5, 20. Holy hell. Oh, okay, that's a month ago. Okay, so it's not quite as fresh as I would have liked it for it to be. That's a 10 and not an 11, right? Yeah. Still quite fresh, exactly a month. But I was hoping that was uh, today because it's the 5th. Uh, so a month, 30 days basically, give or take. Let's see how it goes. Lovely sound. Mmm, smells good. Smells like Lagunitas. Bringing me back right away. Bringing me back right away. But fresher, grassier, juicier. Since I got into these long, long ago, I mean, the whole trend has gone towards juicier, hazier IPAs. Now, is this even an IPA? I'm not sure that's the word for it. They're calling it like a, a pale ale. 
sounds by any other description, it sounds like an IPA to me. Uh, I don't see anything that makes this a pale ale rather than an IPA. I could be wrong about that, but the ABV, 7.2. The massive additions of, of hops. Sounds like an IPA. Smells like an IPA. Looks like an IPA. Mm, it smells so good. Oh, so many types of hops. It's not just the normal kind that you expect to smell. Maybe that's the Simcoe. That different. I don't know what word to use for it, but this is exciting. This is an exciting beer to sip for me as a hop lover, Lagunitas lover. It's taking me back. It smells like old school Lagunitas beers that I remember getting into, but but even more beautiful smelling. Um, I gotta taste it. I'm salivating. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Whoa! Way different when it's this Wow, uh, different experience than what I was expecting. Uh, I mean, it's what I was expecting, but the taste is different. Very intense burst of lupulin. I guess that's what that is. Just, it just feels like I'm chewing on a hop or something. It's amazing. Mmm. 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 Not, it's, the, you know, it's, mmm. It doesn't feel all that bitter. I mean, it, I know it's bitter. I know it's bitter, but it doesn't feel bitter. It's, it is bitter, but it doesn't... It's not the predominant impression I'm getting from it. I'm getting, like, this green gold hop feel in my mouth. Like, sun gold green feel. I guess that's what one of the things we love about hops, right? Um, almost uh, synesthesia-type experience sometimes with that flavor. The mouthfeel, it seems thin at, at first, but then somehow it's like oily. Thin and oily are not words I would use to describe an ideal mouthfeel, but for this it works because the oil kind of feels like um, hop oil or something. It's like, a, it's like oily with hop oil, uh, slick, almost slick in your mouth. Uh, Um, very vegetable, not vegetable, vegetal, is that a word? Like, I, th I think that's a word. It's like very planty. Uh, uh, you might almost say herbal, but I don't think that's the right word either. So anyway, I don't want to just keep trying to list off words. I've said that a million times in these videos. I don't want to just list off a bunch of words. It's good. I, I don't think it's going to become my go-to IPA or pale ale, which is good. It can't because it's very, very limited release because it's limited to the harvest. I would have really liked to get it earlier, you know, taste it, uh, excuse me, taste it a week, two weeks ago or something. I mean, I just got it tonight, but I think this could have only even been better if it was fresher because the experience here is about getting the freshest hop sensations you can get. I think that was the goal. That was the intention. I am a hundred percent sure, even without trying them yet, that there will be better fresh hop beers than this one. This Lagunitas Born Yesterday Pale Ale, I know I'm going to find because I'm looking for them now. Fresh hops are in season uh, right around now, and I'm going to be looking for them. Uh, but it's this is good. Very good. Uh, if I had to give a number, I don't know. This is totally subjective. I'm going to go 7 out of 10, and that's pretty good. Uh, so, mm. perfect for hop lovers. Get it while it's fresh. Lagunitas, uh, limited, very limited release, born yesterday, pale ale. Um, it's sort of, uh, in other than the taste being different than what I was anticipating, it's, it's exactly what I would have expected in every other way. It's a Lagunitas fresh hop beer, and other than the taste not being what I expected it to taste like, it is in every other way meets my expectations, and therefore it is a good beer, and uh, I'm glad it's the one I opened tonight. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of craft beer and uh, amateur reviews of this stuff, just how it is for me. I'm trying to focus on the experience more and more because that's what's fun. That's where I feel like I can really offer some value and in, in interesting content. Um, 
not just trying to name flavors. There are people who know way more about this than me. Uh, so like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that stuff. I notice it means a lot, helps me decide what to do next. And uh, I want to make this interesting for you, fun for me. And that's the goal. So I will see you in the next video. Probably another one tonight. Uh, probably got a nice dessert stout uh, coming up later. Okay. Uh, see you next time.